Yo, what's up guys, John Bogle here, and here we are, there is a starter special and it is Uberfest, and I thought, why not, let's roll and record. I do want to document as much progress as I possibly can on this account, so I guess we'll just record this random capsule here, and okay, starting it off already with two Jotaros, very nice, and okay, weightlifter, and what? What is going on here, okay? So, pretty great start there, and as always, we're looking for those super rares. If we pull any Ubers, I don't really care at all. I mean, they're probably gonna get XP fed, <laughs> but yeah, super rares, we are looking for that, so that's great. We got a whole bunch in that one, so that's nice. Of course, we're gonna use all our tickets here as well, and hoping for more of the- oh, okay. Uh, that's looking like a yikes right there. Anyways, like I was saying before, hoping for more super rares because we need them especially for into the future because I think I'm missing a couple still. Rover, okay, that's nice. I mean, we could use that for into the future as well. Let's see what else we got here for our remaining tickets. And of course, we still have that one starter special. Okay, swimmer, very nice there. Definitely will take that. Can we get another super rare? We've gotten a lot in these draws right here so yeah definitely a very lucky one here and a very correct time to draw also by the way i'm pretty sure most of you know this already but of course this is like my billionth account so i don't really care too much about how i go about doing things on this account so don't replicate everything i do in this account here because of course there are some decisions made on this account just to go by a little bit faster and take shortcuts which are not intended for just an original account gameplay because it could ruin a lot of things. Like spending cat food on Uberfest is not something I would really recommend at all. But yeah, pretty good rolls there. I mean the first initial roll was pretty crazy with all the super rares back to back to back to back to back. Anyways, on to the video, whatever the video is, because I'm not sure at the moment. Hey yo, we're here and we're treasure grinding of course, and we were eventually going to reach the Great Abyss, so I thought why not record this and get our first little run through here and see how it goes. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna completely demolish it. So yeah, this might be a bit overkill, but oh well. I do want to document as much as I can on this account as possible so you guys can get an idea of how I'm progressing on this new account. Anyways, what we're gonna do, of course, is bring Paris here, and I think that should honestly be enough, but just in case we'll bring Dragon, just in case. Yeah, honestly, we don't even need Paris, but... Oh, well, I guess we'll just bring it for the peons, okay. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm thinking so hard about this, it's just the Great Abyss, let's just go. Quaze Whale can solo this stage with the cat combos, so... It is gonna be a massive joke here with supporting characters... Supporting characters... Supporting cat units with Crazed Whale. I've been playing so much Dokkan, I haven't touched Battle Cats in so long, so of course, that was bound to happen, and I'm thinking it's gonna happen again sometime in the future in this video. And we might be pushing a little bit too hard here in the beginning, but oh well, it's not gonna be that crazy if we hit the base this early. I mean, we have our wallet maxed out already, so yeah, it doesn't really even matter. I mean, Crazy Whale is the GOAT, you already know. Also, is Bahamut gonna be able to just one-shot the alien head here? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, even without cat combos, Crazed Whale and Swimmer is just enough to keep the head in a solid position. Alright, let's just end this now. I mean, I, I should've went with Bahamut, but oh well. We'll just do both. Why not? Of course. I bet Urururururun Wolf is just gonna knock back in the face and Bahamut is gonna miss. And yep, okay, miss number one, great. I'm pretty sure Bahamut could just one-shot. So, yeah, or that, we got a damage knockback already, yeah. Well, um, hmm. Into the future. Very, very intense gameplay right here. Alright, let's see if Bahamut will one-shot, and okay, wow, surprising. Surprisingly not a one-shot. But it is probably on a sliver of health right now, and okay, maybe not. Maybe one more knockback. Maybe I'm overestimating treasures right now, so we'll see how it goes. 
I mean, I remember just Great Abyss being such a massive joke and dying so easily. I mean, Dragon could probably solo this stage so easily. Am I missing something? Did he always have this much health? Okay, yeah, there we go. Finally, he goes down. I mean, it took a couple minutes or not, e not even a couple minutes, like a minute or two, but that was way longer than I was expecting. I remember it being so much faster, but uh, hmm, we got no superior treasure. I guess we'll go for the superior treasure. Let's try to get it. This time we could just blitz through the stage and just let Craze Whale the goat carry. Yes, we rush in that base right now. I'm just gonna super rare spam and just stack dragons and that's pretty much it. I mean, that should be enough really. Okay, and maybe Paris to speed it up a bit and get rid of the annoying peons in the way. See, so Seafarer here or Surfer or Castaway, whatever you wanna call him would be so much more helpful for speed running a lot of these stages because we could just freeze lock and get that lucky freeze proc off and then just freeze lock the face and just murder it in like a couple seconds. Also, look at Craze Macho go there getting those hits on. This is obviously a situation where the peons are more annoying than the boss of the stage. Of course, we would have killed him a long time ago without the annoying peons. But yeah, maybe we should have used Bahamut. Oh, well, okay, now we got a decent stack there. That is probably going to kill right there. And, okay, a knockback. I thought that was the kill, but looks like we're just a little bit away. It should honestly be any second now, but the thing is... Oh, yeah, there we go. Dead. The thing is, are we going to get this superior treasure here in the second attempt? Will it happen? Okay, and there we go. We got it. Nice. Of course, when we get all the treasures, we'll come back and get all of the time scores for Into the Future 1. But yeah, there we go. Great Abyss done. Superior treasure obtained. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Oh uh, man, Into the Future treasure grinding. Hmm. Boring as always. Maybe I should bust out a rap freestyle little freestyle while we're treasure grinding let's see hey yo hey yo we here with the into the future treasure grinding she got so damn boring out to bust out the slick rhyming it's a quick succession of beating each stage repeating same levels to get inferior than rage we got swimmer and craze whale to speed up the damn process don't want to take too long to miss out on score losses but of course, this damn level has the metal enemy. If we get no crit, the drafts will stack to ten, you'll see. Cash is an issue, but I'm not focused on building it. Craze whale, cheap cost, that's how we've always been in it. Destroying bases faster than our cash can stack up. Enemies think they funny, they best know to back up. It's that boring repeat grind, we never know how to stop going. Coming out with these trash freestyles and you know we're not going to be stopped flowing. we just aiming for that gold, that superior treasure, that's all we need. Ain't no time wasting fest on bronze, old, or other jewelry. This better be the run so I can wrap this thing up. I've lost count how many times we've been stuck here repeating the same stuff. When that base destroys, we hope for that treasure pop-up. A message flash yellow and not a dead drop-off. Freestyle's dead. We got the treasure. Ah, oh, that was trash. Google, future Google, cut it out.